We've been obsessing about powerful electric bicycles and motorcycles for years and always dreaming about building the perfect electric motorcycle. Now, in 2025, I am so proud to present what the team and I have been working on for a long time. Introducing Havoc and let me show you all of its features. This bike is as bold as it looks. Most of the bikes look very similar and this particular one looks like it just came from the industrial future. <laughs> this is creating a new category between e-bikes and motorcycles. So this is something between a little bit smaller than motorcycle and bigger than an e-bike. This is a new category, new size, single rider only. It's not everything you need to share with your wife. This is not a dirt bike. This was purposely made around day-to-day -day use. When you go commuting, when you need to pick something up that fits in a backpack, you got it. This is faster, cheaper, more fun. When you want to go off-roading and have fun, you got it. This is perfect for enduro. This is all-purpose bike. I see it as a modern, futuristic coffee racer with enduro capabilities. When we started designing Havok, we definitely wanted to take this ground up approach, not to be sticking to anything that is out there, but actually taking the hardware and making the skeleton around it. Making it easier for production, making it modern and industrial looking, so we actually make something unique and functional. That allowed us a lot of cool things, like incorporating the built-in charger, because we were starting from ground up. We made space for it. We made a space for a big power bank, 5.8 kilowatt hours. We incorporated linkage suspension and one of the features not many manufacturers have is adjustable subframe. For longer or shorter guys, the bike is too tall or too small for you. Common problem, we solved it because we have four different positions for the adjustability of rider's seat height. We ship Havok with three sizes of batteries. This is 3.9 kilowatt hours, 4.7 and 5.8. This is a huge power bank, the biggest in its category of commercially available motorcycles. So for the biggest power bank, you should be able to do around 120 kilometers per charge or it is 75 miles. By the time you do such a big ride, you definitely need to take a break yourself, relax a little bit, and that's a great opportunity to charge the bike. With 3.5 kilowatt hour built-in charger into the frame, it takes around 90 to 100 minutes to charge this biggest power bank and every domestic outlet becomes a fueling station opportunity, <laughs> which I personally developed six cents for those because I spot them everywhere. So we made it extra convenient for users with this built-in charger because when you go for trips, you don't have to be carrying a big brick in your backpack and taking the valuable space. And it also becomes pretty painful to carry whole day so never worry about it. When you go for a little bit longer ride, you still have it with you. You have app with available charging stations. It is awesome. The flexible door and the hidden five meter or 16 feet long charging cable just make it so accessible because you have to be parking right next to the outlet. You probably know it from the airports when you have this short charging cable for your phone and you need to be sitting by that outlet <laughs> charging. That's exactly what we didn't want to do with this one. This is not trying to compete any dirt bikes. This is not designed for a track riding or jumping, but anything else will get you through beautifully. And you're gonna be always getting a lot of looks.
Let's take a look at the new components we used on Havoc. We had experience on the previous bikes with motorcycle components and that was obvious choice for this bike too. This time we stepped a little bit further. We used thicker tubing for the front fork, we used longer travel and this one is fully adjustable. The rear suspension is longer, longer travel and also we developed a linky suspension, progressive suspension for the rear makes all the difference in the terrain. As a braking system we use dual caliper brakes for the rear and the front. For the front this time we used bigger diameter of a rotor. That's 260 millimeters and 220 at the back. Levers are adjustable so you can adjust how far or how close they come. And then we can take a look at the controls itself. We used completely different system. It's minimized and it's very intuitive. So on the left side, we have driving forward and reverse. Reverse is absolutely amazing feature. And as soon as you get used to it, you can't live without it anymore. It's incredibly convenient and dynamic. On the left point finger, we have three power modes that are fully programmable. Then we have signal lights on the left thumb and we also have hazard lights. On our right side is my favorite safety feature, which is just disabling throttle. So you can keep the controller and the bike on and the moment you slow down, you turn the throttle off. It's a prevention against yourself and other people. By accident, you might twist it and the bike can do a backflip because it doesn't make any noise. You don't know, sometimes it's on. And typically people walk around and want to see, is it like a motorcycle? And start twisting the throttle. Super convenient features. Down below is just lights turn on and off and regen button. Regen is also on levers because the signal on levers that normally turns on the brake light, we also used for regen. So when you just press slightly, you start regen braking and when you go further, you actually activate the mechanical brakes. We purposely designed big turn radius on the frame, so the bike is really easy to maneuver and, uh, and go around tight corners. It feels very natural, it feels like my body extension immediately, and it just has everything I need. Plenty of power and easy to handle. I would like to show you just a tiny a little bit of a features of this beautiful display on Havok. So when we go to statistics, you can see there is a bunch of statistics like general statistics, since last charge, trip statistics. It's, it's really incredible how much data you have. Then I want to show you when, when we go to control modes, how you can be setting up different features like power, like acceleration, reverse power, maximum speed then we go to advanced modes and you can change each one of these three power modes separately so you can change throttle from speed to torque mode you can change the acceleration deacceleration you can set features for these power modes and it's absolutely incredible for all the geeks that like tinkering with their bikes so you can set up a passcode to enter the bike with different keystrokes on this display or some subtle little tweak that you can change hue and color of the buttons on this display. So this purple looks pretty cool. I can go with it, can set up the brightness and saturation. I think it's really, really nice for personal preference. So when you have a different color havoc, you can match the color of these buttons. We just finalized the design of Havok and finished the extensive testing of it and we consider it as finished product. We are a small company and we're really excited to share these bikes with the world. 
We're shipping these bikes globally. It takes us around two, three weeks to ship them. So wherever you are, feel free to place your order. We're gonna make you happy. We're now moving to another phase, which is street legality and start developing accessories for the bike. So first thing first, we'll be developing the storage system for the empty space in the subframe. We're pretty consistent on YouTube showing what we do. So we started Patreon page. You can now support with small amounts that contribute to material and wages or you can contribute bigger amounts to things like legality which is around 50 60 thousand euros in Europe the biggest contribution is purchasing one of these bikes and spreading the word how much you like them because they are absolutely amazing down in the description of the video we share links to our social media where we just publish more casual content how we use this bike and stuff like that you can also find our website where you can place your order where you can also subscribe to emails so we're starting sending weekly emails with the cool innovations we've been working on at the workshop we always have a lot to show but we don't have the medium so it feels like emails is the right way to do this thanks so much for watching we always appreciate the feedback uh, if you like this if you don't like it if you have any comments or suggestions that's the comment section down below the video where you can express your feelings thanks so much i appreciate watching this video and see you next time in another video Thank you.